to show you how to replace a motherboard battery. Before you start, you're going to need a watch battery. You're going to need a CR2032 battery. As you can see, it says CR2032. For today's tutorial, I'm going to be using a desktop tower. The first thing we want to do is take a screwdriver and we're going to remove two screws. This one here and this one down here. Now that those screws are out, I'm going to take the tower and I'm going to turn it on its side. Now we're going to pull the side panel off of the tower. To do that, we're going to pull the release right here up and then we're going to pull it off like that. Here's what the inside of the tower looks like. And down here is the motherboard battery. Depending on the tower, there's actually three different ways that the battery could be put in there. Some of them are like this. Other ones, the battery will be up on its side, so it'll be standing up this way. And there's another one where the battery is like this, but there's a tab on top of it holding the battery in place. Now for one like this, or one that's standing up, it's pretty easy to remove the battery. If you have one that has a tab on top of the battery, you want to make sure that you don't lift the tab up. Instead, you want to slide the battery out from under it sideways so that the tab doesn't break. So I'm just going to pop this battery out. I'm going to use a screwdriver to do that. A flat-edged screwdriver. There we go. And it landed over here. So we're going to set the old battery aside. Here's the new one here. As you can see, there is a sticker on the other side. So I'm just going to go ahead and peel that sticker off. Now we're going to put the battery in, and we're going to make sure that this side is on the bottom. So that's the side I just peeled the sticker off of. And I'm going to just pop this one in. There we go. Now all we have left to do is put the side panel back on the tower and put the screws back in. So I want to make sure that the tab part is on this side, so this part here. Now you want to make sure that you hold this back end here down, because if you don't it'll lift up a bit and then it won't go back in place exactly. So hold that tight and you're going to slide this on. Once you get it all the way on, you're going to flip this release back down. Now that we've got the side panel back on, all we have left to do is put the screws back in. Now with these particular screws, you don't even really need to use a screwdriver to put them back in. All you really have to do is twist it back in by hand. I'm going to make sure it's nice and tight. Now I'm sure you guys probably have some questions, like for instance, how do I know if I need to replace the battery in my motherboard? First of all, you'll, you need to replace the battery if it's running really low or if it's completely dead. You'll know when the motherboard battery is running really low because you'll start to experience some problems on the computer. For instance, you'll have a problem with setting the time on it. You can set the time to a certain time. It'll stay that way while you're using the computer, but then if you shut it down or restart it again, next time you go to use it, the time will change. And if the motherboard battery is completely dead, you'll probably get a CMOS error message. If you plan on replacing the motherboard battery in a tower, just be sure that you unplug everything from the back of the tower before you start to take it apart. Also, if you have anything plugged into any of the USB ports or memory card, anything like that, you should also make sure that you remove those from the tower. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I will see you in my next video.